Our common calendar is tracking the movements of shadows. But most Mayan calendars are tracking the movements of energies. That's why these calendars are very special. It would be more correct to speak about the Aztec calendar, because in fact this stone is an Aztec stone. But both the Aztec and the Mayan cultures are from Mesoamerica. It's called the Stone, stone of the Sun. And this is a colored version, and we see the four colors representing the four types of energy. Red representing earth, wh white representing air, blue representing water, and yellow representing fire. So again we see the same ordering, the same correct sequence of earth, air, water and fire in this calendar. Here we see it again. We also see 20 different signs colored with the four energies. And we see within that 13 different tones. I'm going to talk a little bit about the signs, but mostly about the tones in this presentation. The ordering is very important. The ordering of earth, air, water and fire. We see that it's yin, yang, yin, yang. So it's an alternating rhythm of yin and yang. And it also has a kind of meaning. This is the psychological meaning of each phase. Earth phase stands for initiating, for starting, for beginning. We see the word in from yin. The second phase, air, is for outlining, for sketching. We see now the word out. The third phase of water, again we see in, is filling in, putting the details. And the fourth and final phase is fire. Again, it's an out phase, it's yang phase, it's carrying out, it's performing. So it starts with initiating, outlining, filling in, carrying out. And that's a natural sequence of doing things. That's the natural order. It's following earth, air, water and fire. And it's very present in the Mayan calendars. Here we see the Tzol Kin, which literally means Tzol means counting and Kin means a natural day. So in fact this calendar is counting the natural days. And it counts the 20 signs, we see them here from up to down, and within that we see the 13 tones, it's going all the way down. It starts with crocodile 1 and it ends with sunlight 13. And that is the Tzolkin, it's a very important calendar. And if you look carefully, you can also see in the black lines a kind of apple-shaped movement in an outgoing spiraling energy. It's also present. In total there are 20, 52 special days. And on those days, the energies are more strong than on the other days. When you use this calendar to see the energies in yourself, you'll be astonished how, how, yeah, how many details this calendar can, can tell about everyone. There's a lot of confusion about the tones, because we have 13 tones in the Mayan calendar, but we have only 7 tones in the musical scale. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, and then again a new Do. How is that possible? I'm going to show you that it is exactly the same. The 7 tones of the scale are exactly the same as the 13 of the Mayan calendar. And the answer is here. If you look at our keyboards, you see both 13 and 7. And it has to do with the black and the white uh, things. Between the Do and the Re, there is a big jump. And the Re and the Mi is another big jump. Then we have a small jump between the Mi and the Fa. Then we have three big jumps and again a small jump. Between the big jumps, there's enough space to put a semitone. But for the small jumps, there's not enough space. So that's why there's no black uh, here. And the same goes here. And if you count this up, 8 plus 5 means 13. So here you see both the 7 of the scale and the 13 from the Mayan calendar. An octave, this is an octave, a do and a do, they have a ratio of 1 versus 2. And within an octave we find four quints, we talked about earlier, these are the upper bows, and four quarts are the lower bows. Octo is Latin for 8, and when we add 4 plus 4 we get 8. So 8 means 8 harmonic relationships within an octave, and 8 means 8 tones, because it's do, re, mi, fa, sol, until do. Very important. Here we put these 
13 tones in a sine wave. And then we see seven white parts and six black parts. And we could call these white parts day, and the black parts we can call it night. This is about the creation, the rhythm of creation, the, the stages of creation. And in the Bible says that the creation takes place in seven days. Now that is true, I think. But the Bible forgets to tell about us about the six nights in between. In total, giving 13 different phases. And this is also present in the flag of the United States of America. We see seven red periods standing for the day and six white periods in between standing for the nights. We see 13 lines representing the 13 stages or 13 tones of creation. Each day of the 13 tones has a special meaning. When we look at the process from a seed to a fruit, then we see the seven stages very clearly. It starts with seed, then we have germ on the second day, spur on the third day, leaves starting to come out on the fourth day, flower comes at the fifth day, and the sixth day we get a reciprocal, and the reciprocal turns into fruit on the seventh day. A very natural process in which nature is evolving according to the 13 tones of creation. This fruit is filled with seed, so this dough is again a new dough on a higher level. So day seven is in fact the same as day one for a new cycle, and you can see it going on. Here we see the psychological meaning. I'm not going to explain everything, but it starts with attracting, attracting the energies in order to make the creation happen. And it ends with transcending, phase 13. And exactly in the middle, we find synchronizing. And here we see the, the role of synchronizing more clearly. But now we put it in a lemniscate. The first three are now earth energies, then we have three air energies, and the seven has not one of these four energies, it's neutral. And the seven is combining the fission phase with the action phase. It's synchronizing the fission-based six phases in the beginning with the six action-based phases at the end. Because these three are water energy and these three are fire energy. It's another way of presenting it. And again, we see the same ordering of earth, air, water and fire. You can also see it as a wave. In fact, these 13 different phases create one wave. And we see that the wave is going up and it's going down. At the fifth phase, at the fifth day and night, energy, energies are the highest, highest intensity. Three is an important day because three is the moment when the spur is visible, or you could say that the, something that is growing is going out, coming out of the soil. So whatever is created is visible from day three. In the period before that, it's not really visible yet. And it's activated on day two. Day two is also an important day. And we can, we can clearly see it in our own lives. In a natural life, we have these 13 phases again. Our birth is on the third day. On the third day, we come out of the womb and we are visible. Before that, we were already present, but we were not visible. And at the fifth day and night, we reach the highest body length. And we start to shrink on the sixth day. It's the same pattern for a natural human life. 